So there have been a lot of videos made about how expensive Valorant skins are, with bundles costing as much as $80 in some cases. With the new infantry bundle recently being released, I thought it would be interesting to see how much money it would cost to purchase every single skin in the game. I'll be breaking this video up into three parts. How much all the skins would cost if you use the bundles, how much all the skins would cost without using the bundles, and how much extra money you'd have to spend to fully upgrade your skins with Radiantite points. All the values I got for the prices of the guns were found on the Valorant fandom website. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. So before we get into the price for the bundles, we first need the total price for all the battle passes. The battle passes give you access to the Kosher, .exe, Kingdom, Hivemind, Polyfox, Red Alert, Serenity, Surge, Ruin, Outpost, Infinity, Aerosol, Cavalier, Prism 3, and Polyfrog skin lines. The calculation is very easy. Each battle pass costs 1000 Valorant points each. So far we've had a total of 6 battle passes. This means that the total to purchase all the battle passes is 6000 Valorant points. We'll need this number for the final calculation, so I'll keep it for later. So far in Valorant there's been a total of 25 bundles. We've had the Blast X bundle which costs 8700 Valorant points. The Celestial bundle which costs 7100 Valorant points. The Ego bundle which costs 7100 Valorant points. The Elder Flame bundle which costs 9900 Valorant points. Two Glitch Pop bundles, which cost 8,700 Valor points each. The Gravitational bundle, which cost 7,100 Valor points. The Horizon bundle, which cost 4,270 Valor points. The Ion bundle, which was 7,100 Valor points. The New Infantry bundle, which is priced at 2,930 Valor points. The Nebula bundle at 7,100 Valor points. The Oni bundle at 7,100 Valor points. The Prime and Prime 2.0 bundles, both at 7,100 Valor points. The Prism Bundle at 6,375 Valorant Points. The Prism 2 Bundle at 2,930 Valorant Points. The Reaver Bundle at 7,100 Valorant Points. The Sensation Bundle at 2,930 Valorant Points. The Singularity Bundle at 8,700 Valorant Points. The Sovereign Bundle at 7,100 Valorant Points. The Spline Bundle also costing 7,100 Valorant Points. The Smite Bundle at 3,500 Valorant Points. The Valorant Go Bundle at 8,855 Valorant Points. The Winter Wonderland bundle at 5,100 Valorant points, and finally the Wasteland bundle at 4,270 Valorant points. If we add up all these numbers, we get a total cost of 163,960 Valorant points. But wait, there's more, because there's still a handful of skin lines that did not come out with a bundle deal, so we still have to add their prices into our calculations. These skin lines are the Aristocrat skin line, the Avalanche skin line, the Convex skin line, the Galeria skin line, the Lux skin line, the Rush skin line, and the Sakura skin line. Buying all of these skins would cost a total of 38,375 extra Valorant points on top of the number we already have. Finally, if we add up the total for the Battle Pass skins, all the skins with bundles, and all the skins without bundles, we get a grand total of 207,335 Valorant points. Assuming we wanted to save as much money as possible, and I'm using the word save very loosely here, we would be trying to buy these Valorant points 11,000 at a time. So we would need to buy the 11,000 Valorant point deal 19 times to be able to afford all the skins currently out in Valorant. That is a total of $2,659.81 in Canadian dollars or $1,899.81 in US dollars. But that's not the worst part. Assuming you didn't buy any of the bundles when they came out and are now trying to collect all the skins and catch up, you'd have to spend even more money since you no longer have access to the deals. Let's say in this scenario you've been buying the battle pass every act so you still spend 5,000 Valorant points for that. The price for all the skins that didn't have bundles hasn't changed either so you would still be spending 38,375 Valorant points for those. So now let's recalculate the price for all the skins that had bundles. So for example let's take the Reaver skin line. If you bought the bundle it would have cost 7,100 Valorant points but since we aren't using this price we need to buy all the skins individually. That's 1,775 Valorant points for the Sheriff, Guardian, Vandal, and Op plus another 3,550 Valorant points for the Reaver Knife, totaling 10,650 Valorant points. If I do this for all the bundles in Valorant, I get a total cost of 242,550 Valorant points for all these skins. So if we add up this new value for all the bundle skins, plus the price of all 5 battle passes, and the price for all the other skins from before, we get a total of 285,925 Valorant points. To get this many Valorant points, you need to buy the 11,000 Valorant point deal 26 times to be able to fully afford all the skins without buying any of the bundles. This would cost a grand total of $3,639.74 in Canadian dollars or $2,599.74 in US dollars. But wait! There's more! We still haven't accounted for the price it would take to fully upgrade all the guns and buy all the color variations. 
you have the option to upgrade certain skins using Raidy Knight points. You can get Raidy Knight points either as a reward from the Battle Pass or by buying them using Valorant points. It costs 10 Raidy Knight points to upgrade a weapon and guns can have up to 3 upgrades giving them visual effects, new sound effects, and finishers. Some guns also have the option to buy one of 3 different color variations which cost 15 Raidy Knight points each. I added up the cost for all these upgrades and color variations and it came out to a total of 4,555 Raidy Knight points. The cost to fully upgrade all the gun skins ranging from 70 total Raidy Knight points for the Shorty all the way up to 495 Raidy Knight points for the Phantom which takes the crown for most expensive gun to upgrade. Now just for fun, take a guess at what the second most expensive gun to fully upgrade was. I'll give you a hint. It's an assault rifle just like the Phantom, known for its one shot headshot potential from any range and costing between 2000 and 3000 credits to purchase. You guessed it, the Guardian. So yeah, to my surprise, the Guardian actually costs the second most amount of Raid Knight points to fully upgrade. You would think it's the Vandal since it's the counterpart to the Phantom and one of the most used guns in the game, but no. Actually, the Vandal isn't even in the top 5 most expensive guns to upgrade in the game. First place is the Phantom at 495 Raid Knight points as I've already said. Second is the Guardian at 390 Raid Knight points. Third place is the Classic at 385 Raid Knight points. Fourth place is the Spectre for some reason at 370 Raid Knight points. And the Operator's fifth with a total cost of 355 Raid Knight points to fully upgrade. Then finally in sixth place we have the Vandal with a total cost of 345 Raid Knight points to fully upgrade. Anyways back to our calculations. In both of our scenarios so far we've bought the Battle Pass and every Battle Pass gives you Raid Knight points that we have to subtract from our total. The Episode 1 Act 1 Battle Pass gives you 130 Radiant Knight. The Episode 1 Act 2 Battle Pass gives you 120 Radiant Knight. The Episode 1 Act 3 Battle Pass gives you 130 Radiant Knight. The Episode 2 Act 1 Battle Pass gives you 160 Radiant Knight. And finally, the Episode 2 Act 2 Battle Pass also gives you 160 Radiant Knight. Add these numbers together and we get a total of 830 Radiant Knight. Now if we subtract this number from the 4,555 Radiant Knight that we need to fully upgrade every weapon, we get a total of 3,725 that we would still need to purchase. Taking a look at the store, the best offer gets you 80 Radiant Knight for 4,800 Valorant points. To get 3,725 total Radiant Knight, we divide that number by 80 to get about 46.5 bundle purchases. The decimal points actually equates to 45 Radiant Knight, so we can actually save some money if we buy the 80 Radiant Knight deal 46 times, the 40 Radiant Knight once, and the 20 Radiant Knight once. Add the costs together and we get a total of 225,200 Valorant points needed to fully upgrade all of our skins and purchase every color variant. Now we just need to add this value to the other calculations we made earlier. So the total cost to buy all the skins in Valorant, fully upgrade every single one, and get every single color variant in the game would cost you 432,535 Valorant points if you use the bundles, and 511,125 Valorant points if you don't buy any of the bundles. This comes out to a total price of $5,507.60 in Canadian dollars, or $3,934.60 in US dollars if we use bundles, and $6,509.53 in Canadian dollars, or $4,600. $649.53 in US dollars if we don't use any bundles. So obviously buying every skin in Valorant is very expensive and it'll only get more expensive as time goes on and more and more skins get released into the game. Even as I was editing this video, the Mage Puck bundle was released so my calculations are already out of date. So what was the point of this video? Well, even though no one's going to buy every skin in Valorant, I still think it's important to have a good idea of how much the skins can actually cost. If anything, this video proves how easy it could be to overspend on in-game items if you aren't careful. Even buying just two bundles can set you back almost $200, so I think this video was important because it can help people be more aware of how much money they're actually spending on this free to play game. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Valorant related content.